David, thank you. And it was also back to school today in Clay County with nearly 30,000 students choosing to go back into the classroom. So take a look at these pictures right here from the first day of school in Clay County. The school district showed us behind the scenes of what a classroom and a music room looks like during this pandemic. Tonight, Leah Shields is on your side, bringing us inside Fleming Island Elementary School. Here at Fleming Island Elementary, you cannot get past these gates without wearing a mask. That's because it's a requirement for third through 12th graders in Clay County. District leaders say they're prepared if positive cases pop up, but they're hopeful that the preventative measures will work. Yes, ma'am. I think we put together a pretty good plan to mitigate the, the spread of the virus to the best of our ability. So that plan includes social distancing as much as possible and a mask requirement. In the music room, sixth graders stand on marked spots and sing with their masks remaining on. These the kids have been wearing a mask, you know, for the last few months, and parents have been great with working with them at home. In a fifth grade classroom, 17 students sit a few feet apart, their voices sometimes muffled by their masks. We've looked at every inch of what we can around the school building, as far as the cafeteria, restrooms, classrooms, common areas, every little thing we've looked at to ensure that our students are kept safe. Each class takes time to learn about the new procedures in the cafeteria, an area where many things have changed, including assigned seating. And what's going on inside the school is connected to what's going on in the county. Director of the Clay County Health Department, Heather Huffman, says they work hand in hand with the school district. We continue to look at positivity rate and on average we're running between eight and nine percent for the previous 14 days and that's good news. She says Clay County cases are on a downward trend and not every student went back to school today. About 9,000 students stayed virtual. In Fleming Island, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.